Day one, Door County. It took us about six hours to get here from Ashland, and in that time, we could have practically driven home. We stayed at a place called the Parkwood Lodge. We arrived at night, so the only thing that there was to do when we arrived was to play trucks on the bed in the room and play in the pool, but Oliver lost interest after 15 minutes. It wasn't as fun without sand and waves and Cousin Gia. I have to admit, I kind of agree with him. We just missed cherry picking season by a hair. But there was a peach stand where we could get Michigan and Georgia peaches. Okay, so we stopped at a peach stand and picked up a peach. And I've asked Oliver for the peach back so that Phil and I could have some. And he won't give it back. He won't share with us. We are the end of the house. Oh, Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> you have to hold it, Ollie. You hold the bottle. You hold it. You hold it. You're feeding him. Good job. That's fantastic. Oh no, Ollie, you gotta stand still, sweetheart. Call him. Oh, I'm sorry. Ollie, look at me. Well, <laughs> Daddy is going to try to feed the goats. Hopefully, Daddy will have more luck than Oliver did. Oliver really loved petting the animals, but probably the most fun he had was in riding the tractors. This wagon is a little bit bigger than the one we have at home. Oliver rationed his goat feed. He gave the goats only one corn kernel at a time. I don't think the goat cares about your food, Oliver. The one kernel that you're trying to give the goat. Oh, he ate it! So this rooster is about the same height as Oliver. Phil tried to feed the goat, but the goat walked away, was not interested in Phil at all. I've been, I've been blackballed in the goat community. You saw it here, folks. Phil has been blackballed in the goat community. Go. All right, yeah, so it's show. time for it's yep. time for All us right. to milk Maddie the goat. Daddy's going to try for us. I'm going to catch the top first. You okay. the top, a little bit lower. And do it Help out. Right okay. Show Ollie how to do it. Oh, wow. The okay. goat is looking at us like, you, you amateurs. No, you don't want to try it? Okay, Dana, give it a try. You're oh, scared? I'm scared. <laughs> okay, do you want to pet the goat? Here, you, you pet, pet the, the goat. goat. Nice. Goats hey, like to be petted speed. while they're being milked. Okay. Hey. Nice goat. It is definitely breakfast time for these pigs. Hey, goat. Hey, goat. So Phil, the allergic one, is actually holding a cat, so I really had to uh, get this picture. The cat wants to run away from Oliver, apparently. Yep, there it goes. But it liked Phil, the allergic one. Isn't that how it always goes? Oliver, can you moo to the cow? Maybe it will say moo. Oh my gosh, this is a like giant, this is a giant. Holy cow, whoa, hello, hello. Oliver, your moo worked. This is cinnamon, this is cinnamon the Brahmin cow. Oliver, say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's using this big deep voice to talk to this big deep animal. Next, we saw a cool car. Okay. Oliver, look. It's a car. It's an old car. You know how old that car is? It's a bad car, but it's a bad car. It's a bad car. No, it's, a, it's an old car. It's okay. It's bad. It's a bad car. Oliver, you know how old it is? It's as old as, cool as, as Papa Fred. It occurs to me that I took an awful lot of footage of Phil and Oliver feeding the animals. 
which probably just gives away the fact that we're total urban dwellers because I'm sure that anybody from the country would be like, and this is cool to you, why? But we think it's exciting. The sheep means business. Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Hi, sheep. Hi, sheep. Hi, sheep. Hi, sheep. Gentle, I'll stop. Phil taught Oliver a Darth Vader voice, so now he goes, I am your father. And he's been using the voice our whole trip to talk to the animals. Hi, sheep. Touch. Hi, sheep. Soft touch, Ollie. Hi. It looks like theater genes just run in the family. So Oliver is already practicing his um, on-stage voices. Anyway, next we went to a tractor house and we found a tractor named oh, Oliver. What's the name of this tractor? Next, we went to a dairy farm. So Oliver is about to milk the cow. It's not a real cow, but its udders light up, and that's pretty exciting. So Oliver is really not a fan of this electric cow breast pump thing. The cow is probably not too crazy about it either. And um, he's requiring that we turn it off. This is a cow heart. I have seen this size heart in a cadaver. It's ginormous. It's cardiac disease. It makes it real big sometimes. Cardiac hypertrophy. It's awesome. And on that appetizing note, I want that slide in my park. Inside there was ice cream to eat. Outside, ice cream to slide down. Also, tractors for riding in the sandbox. Ali loved it. Phil had a good time too. Phil's having lots of fun here. Here at the dairy farm, there is a sandbox loaded with tractor toys. And of course, of all the things to see at this farm, there's a corn maze and there are animals. Of course, what interests Oliver is this sandbox with all these big tractor toys. And it's twice as exciting because it's actually on a farm. And he's being very industrious. He's now moving his line of tractors to this side of the farm box. Oliver, what are you making? I will make it a train. A what? I will make it a train. You're making a train? A tractor train? The only souvenirs we've bought on this trip were two toy tractors for Oliver. Oliver, what are you making here? I will make a big truck over here. And a big truck. Oliver's making a really, one really, really large truck out of all the tractors, he says. Then we went to the beach. While we were playing in the water, a pair of girls playing near us found a crawfish. So. We have here a crawfish. Hello, crawfish. It's like, what the heck am I doing out here? Yay. Thank you. I gotta be honest, I spent the rest of the time after that really watching my step. Phil and Oliver are waiting for waves to come to them. Rather than running into them and splashing the way I do. How patient of them. All in all, it wasn't as fun as in Ashland. Oliver spent most of the time on the beach. It's clearly a truck train. A truck train meeting at the, at the Oliver Depot. Uh, here on Whitefish Sand Dunes State Park. There she is. The Great White Shark. Or as I like to call her, the Great White Shark. Dim 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 dim. Here they go, taking a splash. Nice. Oliver is learning how to take waves like a man. Or like a little man. Considering he's little. So we worked up our appetite for dinner at the beach. And after that, we were on our way to dinner when we ran into this guy chasing his horse. He was taking the horse out for a run. And we pulled over to see if he needed help. Turns out he was holding on to the horse. Um, and he let Oliver take a ride on the horse. And he let us feed the horse a peach. And we had a wonderful time and a great conversation with him. Ironically, we had actually considered taking Oliver to a horse stable so that he could get a ride while we were in horse country, but then we decided not to because it was expensive, and as it turned out, we got a free horse ride anyway. It was awesome. We had peaches in the back of the car, so I gave the horse a peach. Um, the horse's name was Cheeky Boy, by the way. Um, in my attempt to feed the horse the peach, the horse <laughs> almost knocked me over, which of course Phil thinks is hilarious. It was hilarious. <laughs> he can't help that he has a big head. He's cute. 
Anyway, we had a great time.